Hey, it's your friendly neighborhood potato witch. Welcome to the show. Action RPGs. I suck at them. I mean, I'm really not great at them. Which is a shame, because that's generally the way RPGs are going these days. There's nothing inherently wrong with that, mind you. They're just not for me. You can thank a years ago concussion for this, mostly. I fell down some stairs and smacked my head, and uh, now I don't always brain so good. It's nothing terrible, but my ability to multitask and react to multiple different on-screen elements in real time has gone downhill since then, making action RPGs extra challenging for me. But sometimes you come across a game that looks potentially interesting enough to make you wonder, is this the day I push past all of that and play it anyway? So, I like game demos, and I found the demo for Scarlet Nexus on the PlayStation Store and decided to give it a try. It's an action RPG developed and published by Bandai Namco. The demo gives you options to play as one of two characters, either Yuito Sumeragi or Kasane Randall. Kinda neat that you can get multiple different perspectives during just the demo. They could really easily have set it so that you only get to play as one character, for instance, you know, to get a taste of the story and gameplay and just leave it at that. It's always nice when demos do that little bit extra. The game takes place in a sort of futuristic VR-type world that, to be honest, isn't really explained all that well, at least in the demo. Now, I don't expect a full info dump about everything that's in a game when I play a demo, but I also expect enough that I'm not going, so what's happening exactly? Which is what happened to me while I was playing this. It's a cool setup, and the visuals remind me a lot of some aspects of Shin Megami Tensei Nocturne, but I'm still kind of baffled on why things are the way they are, and why I'm supposed to care. See, there are these monsters called Others, and our daring protagonists are tasked with fighting them. I guess to keep people safe, probably, but I don't know how many people live in the VR-seeming world, because the map I played on seemed very much in ruins and rather devoid of people. I'm not entirely sure what the Others are, or why fighting them is so important, other than that the game told me so. See, I'm of the opinion that a demo's primary purpose is to make me want to buy and play the full version of the game. And the Scarlet Nexus demo didn't really do that. Not just because of my trepidation towards action RPGs. I mean, if I'm interested enough, I will push past my functional issues and try my best and just hope that there's a difficulty setting that allows me to play without too many problems. Which there is here, by the way. Scarlet Nexus does have a variety of difficulty options to allow you to tailor the challenge to what suits you best, and I love that. But... What I saw of the demo didn't lead me to thinking it was worth picking up the game upon release. Don't get me wrong, the game looks and plays just fine. The visuals are impressive, the environment's interesting, and the monster designs are just the right amount of creepy and intimidating to give me the shivers sometimes. The camera controls feel a little sensitive at times, but that's a problem that's easily adjusted for. Other than that, it controls just fine. But that's the bulk of what I can say about Scarlet Nexus. It's just fine. The whole game might be a phenomenal masterpiece of game production, I don't know. The thing is though, I can't tell that from the demo. The demo felt a lot like something that was made to capitalize on hype that already existed, to give something to people who were already excited about the game, rather than something designed to make anyone excited about the game. I was left with the overwhelming impression that there's potentially a lot here, a potentially deep narrative with some solid world building underlying it, but I can only assume that potential. What the demo gave me made me feel like I was seeing the sequel to something, an entry into a world that was already established enough and would make perfect sense to existing fans, but was a bit lacking for newcomers. Essentially, there was no real hook for me. You've got characters in a weird, twisted alternate reality world, but why? You've got monsters that the characters have to fight, but why? Playing as Yuito, he struck me mostly as Blank Slate McPlayer character, someone without much demonstrated personality or past or plot thread to make anyone interested in his development or in following his story. Again, that's not to say he doesn't have one, but the demo didn't really show me anything to make me care. Now, I'll grant you, the combat system in Scarlet Nexus is pretty cool. Not only do you have powerful melee attacks, but you've got a load of psychic powers at your disposal. Most often, you can throw huge objects at enemies, making excellent interactive use of the environment so that you can throw cars or vending machines at enemies who come your way. Hucking concrete barriers at enemies is an excellent way to feel like a powerful badass, let me tell you. Moreover, you can borrow powers from your teammates, allowing you to add fire to your attacks, for instance, or to teleport through barriers. It's pretty cool, and there are uses for these powers both in and out of battle. 
I really like the way that these powers were implemented and balanced so that they're of more use than just for fighting. So it was kind of fun, even if I struggled a little bit with holding everything in my head during battles. It didn't get super overwhelming, so I think it can be approachable for a lot of people if they're interested, and like I said, there are multiple different difficulty modes to help people get the right challenge that they're looking for. But the demo didn't really give me much to be interested in beyond a fun throw things at other things battle system, and I can get that kind of power trip from plenty of other games that do draw me in more easily right from the get-go. And also, like I said, there's nothing wrong with Scarlet Nexus per se. It's just not for me, I think. Nothing in the demo persuades me that it's worth picking up upon release, although I absolutely can see why a number of people will probably enjoy the crap out of it. Kind of a shame, honestly, because the trailers look pretty cool, and the song that accompanies the trailer, Dream and Drive, is freaking awesome. I've linked to that song in the description if anyone wants to check it out, and I really recommend they do. But it's just not for me. That's the way it happens sometimes. If it looks like Scarlet Nexus might be for you, then it's releasing on June 25th for PlayStation and Xbox systems, as well as on PC, so you don't have to wait that much longer to start physically throwing vehicles at things that want you dead. Enjoy!